So good evening. I am the odd man out. I am not in the teaching profession, but teaching is my passion also. So the technology has uh, changed every aspect of our life. It has interfered in everything. So why not teaching? So gone are the days when you used to have a blackboard and chalk and used to read the classes. Now the things have changed dramatically. And Dr. Piti has rightly said, the ill-trait of 21st century will not be those who cannot read or write, but those who cannot learn, unlearn, and relearn. So advanced in technology has made a profound effect on the way we learn and the way we teach. Technology is not having cool iPads or expensive gadgets, or it's about, it's about the learning process. Technology has to improve the learning process and aim is to improve the student's performance. So many adult learners like me can remember the time when finding information, when we are doing our, PS, our thesis, we have to go to the library and search a lot of things. Uh, those things are now gone, you can do it in a more, uh, the technology has evolved so much from blackboard chalk to then came the whiteboard marker, then transparency slides and overhead projector, then came the PowerPoint presentation, then CEI and web-based uh, teaching tools, then came the video conference, then e-classrooms, wireless technology and innovative technologies are there and things are gradually improving. Yeah. So every teacher has to learn these things also. So you can effectively te have a teaching vice uh, uh, in this uh, is a job also. So what are the advantages with technology? It's easy to access information. Now you can have all the information at your home instead of going to a big library searching the books. Then greater interest in learning, increased retention of information. Then you have robust information storage system with you. Just in a small mobile or notebook you can have all the information. All the things can be stored in a very small place and better presentation of the informations. Teaching is made more interactive. Now we have more interactive. Instead of one way, now it's become two way communication. Knowledge sharing is made easy. It can make teacher more effective and organization of the matter can be easily done. So what are the recent teaching technologies have come? Now video conferencing. So it's not limited to know your classroom. Your teacher can be staying at Delhi or can be in a USA. So you can learn from that, that video conferencing has improved the thing so much. So it's not a, now a classroom study only. So internet, I think there are two equalizers in the life, the internet and the education. If you have both the access to both, you can almost at par. So at what we are doing at present, we are at par with US counterparts. We are doing the same surgery, we are doing the same process and our knowledge is almost at par what is there in USA or Western countries. So internet is a great leveler for that way. So I'm not going into details because all we know is, and we have limited time. So all, uh, must be aware now we have smart classes. An interactive whiteboard is a large display and connects a computer to projector. The projector projects a computer desktop onto board surface. Then we have classroom response system. So a teacher can get the feedback, how much is students are learning. It's not teaching one way, he can just have the response also, how much the students are grabbed from it. So it increases the knowledge retention and it's very anonymous, taking individual responses, creating fun-loving and fun-learning environment and confirms that audiences understood what you had taught. Then satellite, as you said, I'm not going into detail because it takes a lot of time to tell them. And uh, it has, again, we are getting education in our remote areas also. So YouTube is again a good site where a lot of videos have been uploaded. The good quality videos are there. The students can always learn from there. They can have the uh, surgical skills from those places. So these things have changed a lot. Facebook provides health related tips at CMI, Cancer Page, Healthcom, Everybody Real, etc. YouTube provides educational tools. Now coming to the cataract surgery simulator, Dr. Mittal has told you about it. Can you display this? Yeah. Voice also, please. Just since uh, our, you have to taste of some technology, I was changing. Original Can you have the voice? Pieces are inserted into the simulator's model eye. Looking through an OR microscope. No, learning in a patient is good, but it has a long learning curve. Once you do practice on a, a stimulator, your things get much easier. Your learning curve become very very short.
IC Surgical is a okay, high-end anyway. virtual reality simulator for I think there's some problem with the voice. Training. So technology sometimes causes Virtual problem also. So you have to be very, very aware of that. The model so the beauty of the system is that you have to use actual instruments. Experience their interaction with tissue and intraocular structures simulated in real time. So what you're doing is in real, real time. Training, instruments such as forceps, visco cannula, cystotome, and phaco probe are available. The pre-installed IC courseware offers training at different levels of difficulty, from basic skills training through to surgical procedures and complications management. And if you the use it, the feel is almost real. Interface, an instrument foot pedal to control fluidics. Your control of the foot pedal, your hand movements, all get very, very good. For training of posterior segment surgery, IC is equipped with a vitreo-retinal interface. The integrated biome mimic functions just like a real biome in the operating room. During virtual surgery, instruments such as light probe, cannula, endolaser, and V-tractor are available. Trainees must select appropriate OR machine parameters in order to safely and effectively complete a surgical procedure. At the end of each task, IC provides detailed assessment of the surgical performance. VR Magic's web-based platform, VRMNet, allows trainees to access their personal training data and peer group comparisons from any mobile device. Online courses extend the practical training on the simulator. Theoretical background. So basically, IC surgical. Basically, the things are improving a lot, and a lot of newer technologies are coming. Our old stereotype classroom study is now changing to a web-based study or the internet-based study and the whole world becomes a classroom and the quality of his simulators are getting very very good and almost all of the surgery you can practice you can have your score then where you make the fault where you have to improve further your access is not perfect you have to do it again and again your ILM peeling is not very good you have to do it again and again and you learn the skills when you do in a live person your hands are already your flexes are very very good and you can do these things so with this, just a small uh, about, about the technology, how is it interfering about teaching systems and we have to incorporate in our modern teaching system. Thank you. Thank you very much.